the number one baby name in Britain that the mayor spoke about. Well, these days it's Muhammad. And that has my next guest very, very concerned with us now is Mark Stein. He is the author of America Alone. Is, is that true? Uh, I think it's the second uh, most popular boy's name this year. And uh, the Times of London and the Statistics Office say it will be the most popular boy's name in the United Kingdom next year. All right. Now, we should uh, distinguish so here that, up. right, we should distinguish here that because there are so many different spellings of Muhammad in order to come to this second most used name, they kind of lumped all the different spellings of Muhammad together. But the, you're right. The bottom line is it's a popular name for what yeah. is a very small percentage of the population, but you say a rapidly growing percentage. Rapidly growing. And the different spelling thing, I mean, there's, I think there's seven different spellings of Brittany, according to whether you stick double E or whatever on the end, but you'd still, you still couldn't get the numbers that Muhammad is getting. Uh, in Britain and Europe. I mean, we can argue about the rate of change, but this is an unprecedented demographic transformation in the character of uh, Britain and Europe that's going on. All right, so uh, play it forward for me, Mark, and which you're very good at doing. I mean, you, you, the trend here is what disturbs you the most. Explain. Well, I think what it means uh, is uh, there's really three trends at work. I mean, Mohammed is now the most popular boy's name in many parts of Europe. Uh, it's also the most popular name for terrorists. It's also the name of the revered prophet of the West's fastest growing religion. And it's the intersection of these trends, uh, uh, demographic, religious and terrorist, uh, in which uh, people have concerns about the future. I mean, Ed Koch mentioned the London bombings just a minute ago. Uh, huge percentages of British Muslims do not think Muslims were involved in those July 2005 tube bombings. That is, a, that is a problem. Effectively, uh, reality is in dispute uh, among the populations of the Western world. Now, what's interesting, too, Mark, is that the, the, the Muslim population is growing rapidly throughout Western Europe, in, in England, in France. Um, and, and I'd like to shuttle ahead 10 years, maybe 20 years. What do you see? Well, I think uh, in 10 years' time, uh, you will have essentially uh, these countries with a semi-Muslim political character. If you'd said on September the 10th, uh, 2001, if you'd said to most journalists uh, that, the, that the relationship between uh, the state and its Muslim community would be the uh, principal domestic political dynamic in Britain and France and Scandinavia and the Netherlands and Germany, people would have thought you were nuts. But in five years, we've grown to accept that. Pitch it down the road. Uh, another five or ten years, you'll have Muslim political blocks in Parliament, and the Muslim vote will be more significant than the black vote is in this country. All right. Mark Stein, America Alone, his latest. Good seeing you again, my friend. Thank you. Always a pleasure, Neil.